Hello friends, today I am going to reveal some true facts of ultra precise atomic clock network on the hunt for dark matter. But first of all, I request you to please share and subscribe my channel for getting my informative true facts videos uninterrupted. Please note that subscription of my channel is free of cost. Now ultra precise atomic clock network on the hunt for dark matter. Researchers are pulling a global network of the most precise timekeepers ever made to, to the task of hunting for dark matter, the invisible and largely intangible substance that researchers think makes up about five sixths of all matters in the universe. The existence of dark matter is suggested by its gravitational effect on the movement of stars and galaxies. However, it remains a mystery as to what it might be composed of and projects ranging from the most powerful atom a smasher, a smasher ever built to vats of a chilly liquid genome have failed to find a trace of it. Scientists have largely eliminated all known particles as possible explanations for dark matter. One remaining possibility in the dark matter is made of a new kind of particle. Another is that dark matter is not made of particles at all. But rather a field that pervades a space much like gravity does. Previous research suggested that if dark matter is a field, structures could emerge within it. Topological defects shaped like points, stings or sheets and potentially reaching at least the size of planet. These structures might have formed during the chaos over the, uh, over the Big Bang and essentially flown into stable forms when the early universe cooled down. Now, scientists are testing the existence of dark matter fields by looking for disturbances in some of its most accurate scientific instruments ever constructed, that is atomic clocks. These instruments keep time by monitoring the quivering of atoms much as grand, uh, grandfather clocks uh, relying on uh, and sw and swinging pendulums uh, nowadays. Atomic clocks are so accurate uh, that they would lose no more than one second uh, in every 15 billion years, uh, longer than the 13.8 billion years uh, age of the universe. Interacting with the topological defects uh, could make an atomic clock system uh, temporarily uh, shake faster or slower. By monitoring a network of synchronized atomic clocks that are spread far enough apart for a topological defects to have an effect on some clock but not others. Scientists could detect the existence of these ghostly structures and measure some of their other technical properties such as their size and speed. The researchers implied the optical atomic clocks which use laser, laser beams to measure the motion of atoms when they are slowed down by cooling them to temperatures nearly absolute zero. They calculated that passing through a topological defect could increase or decrease the fine structure constant, which describes the overall string of the electromagnetic force. Such changes would, would alter how atoms respond to lasers and the rate at which those clocks ticked. Another possible explanation for dark matter is that it affects are caused by fields that vary in a string over time, which, which in turn leads to regular fluctuations in the string of the electromagnetic field. Atomic clock could in theory help detect such a coherently oscillating classical scalar fields, the scientists noted. By analyzing uh, for uh, four atomic clocks on three continents in Colorado, France, Poland and Japan, the researchers could to, to look for several variations in the fine structure constant with about 100 times greater sensitivity than previous experience, experiments. However, they did not detect any signal consisting with dark matter. One of the major problems of optical atomic clocks is that they can currently only operate continuously for about a day. One reason for this is that optical atomic clocks need to keep many lasers operating in synchronized in order to work and over time at least one of these lasers fall out of synchronized. However, 
it is we note that advantage of the network is that it does not require all its clocks to operate at the same time the scientist aims to double the number of clocks in the network <laughs> in the next year or two scientist said which could increase the sensitivity and observation times of the network by a factor of 10 or more the scientist detailed the findings online to the uh, in the journal science advances in my next the video i will reveal two facts of some more interesting topics thanks